This lion just attacked one of the buffalo and he was by himself so the buffalo chased him off. So guys welcome back. If you haven't had a chance make sure to check out parts one and two. And now I'm going to walk you through this unbelievable lion hunt. I was first on the scene and I saw these two lions, these two male lions hunting. And you're going to see here they actually went and started chasing this whole herd of buffalo. It's just amazing. Watching one lion stare down 40 buffalo, 100 buffalo, was amazing. Here he is, he's in the weeds, he's waiting. I, I didn't get much video of this because I just, I couldn't believe what I was witnessing. I love this look where he's plotting and just planning and... So I was able to sit on the sidelines of this and watch and take pictures of these two male lions that led a hunt and then they started inviting more lions to come and... Again, the sheer bravery of that lion is just... This is my favorite shot from the whole one, where he looked back at me and was almost that look like, do not disturb, you don't belong here, get out. And then just being able to be part of this was so cool. This lion is not giving up, he just went in to try and get it again. The buffalo chased him out. As you can see here, the lion was no more than five feet from my car and I was able to get these close-ups of him as a... Uh, he was waiting for his next round of hunters, but he didn't join him. How the lions have called in reinforcements. There's one down there in the bush that you can't see. You see his head just a little bit to the right of the screen. He's sitting down. He's been the one who started this whole thing. And then there's about four or five lions over there who joined in for the kill. So here are some shots I was able to get of the other lions as they were uh, moving around and planning and trying to get in on this buffalo hunt. And uh, guys, this is just one of those moments where it's out of National Geographic. You can't believe you're there. And uh, I feel so fortunate to be able to have experienced this in my life. So the hunt ended in a stalemate with uh, both sides deciding to go back to their respective corners and uh, this, this one male lion who started it all we had a hard time giving up on it but uh, we were able to get a few shots before he uh, went down for a nap. So there seemed to be a lot of aggression in the animal kingdom tonight, I don't know if there was a full moon the night before whatever else but I came across these giraffes who were just going at it and uh, again this I just couldn't believe it first it was the lions and then it was these guys fighting and necking and doing all sorts of stuff kicking up dust and just it's amazing you go from the lion hunt and then you go to the giraffes and just to see these animals interacting I mean it looks like they're smooching right there but <laughs> it doesn't 
doesn't really tell the full story. So what do you do after fighting all day? You drink water. If you guys didn't know, this is how giraffes drink water. Pretty awesome stuff. So this was really a wonderful picture day for me. I just got tons of images on day seven and some panoramics and some nice landscape shots. It's a panoramic of, you know, reflection of the clouds and the water. And nothing would be complete without some baboons and tree shots, getting these guys having fun up there. And this next shot here, I mean, you talk about rough life in Africa, having your back end split open and you just have to deal with it. Went out on safari that night, and uh, it's one of my favorite shots I got of the uh, rhinoceros. Uh, the lighting was just perfect, get some silhouettes, and get him just walking across that savanna. It was just amazing, and what beautiful, beautiful creatures. Here's another panoramic I got of a huge herd of buffalo, and I've never shot as many panoramas as I did in Africa. Beautiful, beautiful sunsets, guys. These are all in that sunset tour that I did at night, and Again, these shots here, I had to take these in the back of the truck as it was moving, but it just yielded some of the best sunset shots I've ever had, and I just love this one. The rays of the sun dipping as you have this beautiful silhouette background. Just amazing. So we ended day seven on a beautiful sunset, and we started day eight with a beautiful sunrise. Just amazing stuff. Some of the best shots I've ever taken of these types have been in Africa rays of light just shining through birds. We have a really nice shot of a bird later on in here and this shot coming up here is a savanna shot. And then I went back to the rest camp and showed you guys what it's like. This is what Satara looks like to camp the rest the rest camp I should say. This is the car. You can't tell the lighting's bad but this thing is disgustingly filthy. There's all my crap, medicine, tons of water bottles. I'm drinking about three liters of water a day, but I did kind of splurge, get two Coke Zeros, and well, just dropped one, so that kind of killed the bit. Anyway, but what I wanted to show you was these <laughs> are frozen solid, and they're plastic. So anyway, I thought it was kind of funny. This car stereo does not have any MP3 or auxiliary jacks where I normally put my iPod in. So, I hook my iPod up as so. Get up with this wire to these nifty little external speakers that I bought. And that's how I listen to my radio. Bombs. We dropped on so leaving the camp, you'll see that the, Two a -bombs, that no the uh, noticeable animals are just right outside. I've never shot so many panoramics and you guys can see why Africa just you need so many different shots just to be able to capture all of it to show the viewer how much beauty there is. And if you haven't noticed by now the clouds in Africa are perfect. They are my perfect fake skies which of course are real. You're looking at the remnants of an explosion in the car. The uh <laughs> Yeah, I know that coke blows up when you freeze it. I just didn't know that it would blow up this bad. So we had a very big explosion in the car, but we will carry on. There must be something major up here. Whenever there's this, this many cars stopping, that means it's something. What was it? I, I stole me, but four females on me, and the two most stupid things happened in the street's line. Oh yeah? They killed him Impala. Oh really? Thank you. I knew it must be something major. They said lions killed an Impala. Oh, they're right there. That is amazing. That sound you hear is a lion ripping flesh. That is why you don't go walking through the bush. That little yellow thing you see in there is the lion. That is a female lion eating an impala. So while it may be tempting to get out and walk in the bush, guys, just take a look at these pictures and remember that's what actually exists out there. And when one of them looks at you right through the trees, just like that, you realize they see you way before you see them. Found the leopard, and you want to know why these things are able to ambush their prey? Because you can't see it. On another sunset drive, elephants. 
Oh, no, I think he's meant to go. <laughs> no, he's fine. <laughs> it really was fun getting out on some of these uh, sunset tours with other uh, visitors who weren't maybe as adventurous as I am and uh, to see their reactions, but getting some great shots nonetheless. It is Tuesday morning. It's about 5 uh, 20 in the morning. We wait for the gate to open. I am second in line to get out of here, which is cool. And uh, it's raining a little bit, and there's some lightning that I was trying to catch last night that the minute I set up my camera, the lightning stopped. So um, here's hoping that uh, we'll be able to get some today and uh, not get killed doing so. You probably can't see me because the lighting on this camera is really bad. All right, thanks, bye. Going out this morning for the sunrise and we got rain, rain, rain. I know you really can't see much of it, but there's lightning, so I'm hoping to uh, turn that into a positive and get some cool shots of lightning. So we'll see what happens. Bye. This shot here, guys, is one of my favorite shots ever, um, especially for sunrises. It's just like a painting and it's exactly the way that I envisioned Africa would be just amazing and it uh, goes to show you that sometimes when it rains you got to get out there and shoot because some of these shots when these clouds are like this it's just amazing and uh, you need the rain to make it happen this is the Baboon Highway look at this kids fighting. The thing I had to be most careful with here was obviously not running them over. This guy hid behind the car, but uh, just an amazing sight. This is the Wa, I think it's Wamitri Causeway. Wamitiri Causeway, something like that. Sun is just behind there, and I actually got some great shots of this. Can't wait to go home and uh, go through my as of right now, 11,000 images. Yay. So this here, guys, was just one of my many blessings of Africa, but getting this leopard who came out of the trees and allowed me to shoot, it was just amazing. And when you get a shot like this next one coming up where they look right at you and you can see the glint and the sparkle catch light in their eyes, it's, it's amazing. It's almost like he was posing for me and I uh, feel so blessed that I was able to be there for that moment. Play scary as Lisa, you gotta be quiet. There he comes. This was one of those moments where I was the only car there and that was such a huge benefit because Normally other cars, let's face it, they're kind of careless and as a result they scare the animals off. I was whispering and being quiet, other people always talk so loud, but this is how you get shots is if you're quiet you don't disrupt their uh, natural flow of things. And uh, he stopped for me again and I got some more great shots. Here is I got him against these flowers and I mean just amazing and this shot coming up here is one of my all time favorites. I mean, come on guys, that's awesome. I was so thrilled when I got this one, so happy. And this shows just uh, how close he was to the car. No joke, great times. So I'm driving down the road having a great time when I come across uh, these giraffes. And watching giraffes run is pretty hilarious, guys, if you haven't seen it. Got this great shot of him looking straight on dead at me. And went over by a little pond and got a shot of an iceberg antelope and uh, this dude this animals were mugging for me that day it was great just got done shooting at a place called Lake Panic which is one of my top three spots just amazing I met some other Americans there who uh, were very dissatisfied because they were trying to pick trying to get pictures with uh, their Blackberry and uh, one of the ladies asked for my information she wanted to buy some pictures but the funny thing was um, came up with a name for pictures hugging hippos because that's what uh, she kept calling the hippos that were in the, the lake and that they were hugging which was really cool so this shot here is probably the best live-action shot I've taken of a bird and uh, what I had to do was 
uh, set my camera up on manual focus because the birds would move so quickly that once they started flying the camera couldn't keep up from an auto focus standpoint so so I would set it up to where I had proper focus on them and then as they flew away I would fire and I got a shot like this that I'm very proud of so tonight um, it's my first night they had no bungalows available so I'm in a permanent tent which <laughs> Uh, there's no air conditioning and it is very very hot today but we'll see how that goes but um be a new experience so that's cool so we'll see how it goes and there's my lovely uh home for the day kind of cool i guess I don't know the they have these old-fashioned peas well, not too bad Here's my humble commode. This is crazy. It's actually the nicest um, bathroom that I've had. We're on, uh, I'm on another Sunset Drive uh, over here in Lower Sabby. So this was my last night in uh, Kruger National Park before I had to start heading out the next day. And uh, I was able to get these sunset shots. And this is one of the prettiest black and whites that I shot while I was there. And, it's a magical place, guys. It really is. So guys, I woke up to day 10, my last day, and uh, was greeted by yet another amazing sunrise. Just so blessed to be there. But uh, I've seen so much of Kruger. Uh, definitely will mark this place as a place that I have to come back to. But uh, just awesome. Up. So can't wait to uh, see how the pictures come out and how everything happens. I am leaving uh, Kruger National Park at this point. Part of me is really sad. I mean, I want to go home and see my family. Uh, maybe I can just get out right here. Kind of struck me how this Jurassic Park type place you can just go in and out of a little gates like this, and that's it. Well, there we go. I'm out. I am here at God's Window, which is in the, along the Pumalanga Panorama Route. And it is pretty amazing. This was quite a trek up to this spot. This is the last thing I was able to shoot before I left. And let's just say I'm really glad I'm in a lot better shape now than when I took these pictures because it was quite a trek up there. But guys, look at this view. This is a panoramic. This place is called God's Window and I was able to shoot two different panoramics up here. Here's another one. And uh, you understand why they call it God's Window. Look at those clouds. It's just, it's amazing. Here's a shot I got of a waterfall in the Pumalanga. And uh, it's the last shot I took, a little shack down by the road as I was heading back to Johannesburg. What an amazing trip. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. I thought I would uh, wrap up this video by giving you a recap of all the days, pictures I took on each day. and. Uh, it was a life-changing trip, both personally and uh, photographically, and I'm so thrilled that I, five years after I went, that I was able to share it with you guys. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I thank you so much for watching. As I always say, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams, find the right gear that works for you, and remember, you only have one chance to get it right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.
guys, if you want to learn online with me, go to patreon.com slash photography and you will be able to continue this craziness online from anywhere on planet Earth with me. If you want to join me live, go to jasonlinear.com slash workshops and you'll get to see me in my full glory live and in person, guys. I think there's a smudge on there. Yeah, I got it. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.